Hi, this is Thresden, and this is part one of an ESO Legacy of the Bretons walkthrough. Uh, I, I need to point out a few things before we get started. If you watched the previous series, the High Isle walkthrough and the um, Fire Song walkthrough, you saw I had a particular build, but I changed my build. When I accidentally deleted my Stamina DPS build, uh, I had to reconstruct it, and I ended up just completely changing the build. So I've now got... I'm still using dual-handed... Two, uh, two one-handed weapons on my front bar, but I've got Deadly Cloak instead of whatever I had previously. And then the biggest change is I switched to a two-handed weapon. So I've got Critical Charge, Launch Across the Earth and Smash an Enemy, dealing 3763 physical damage which is always a critical strike. I've got Uppercut, which uh, does an upward swing, dealing 7291 physical damage. And I've got Winter's Revenge 1. Conjure Icy Shards at the target location to skewer enemies in the area. Um, so, pretty major change using a, a two-handed weapon now. I just wanted to point that out before we get started. Also, I uh, reset my champion points to just 300, excuse me, 160 champion points so that I will not be over-leveled for the content anymore. And through all of those previous episodes, we've been dealing with Zaji here. He's been following us around, telling us, Five Claw, I have news! Well, now we're going to finally find out what he has to say. Thank the moons. Zaji was worried you left with the tide. Lady Arabelle sent this one with urgent news. What urgent news, Zaji? Well, Lady Arabelle doesn't exactly trust Zaji with all the details, but she did impress upon Zaji that she had urgent matters to discuss with you, so she sent Zaji to find you. What did Lady Arabelle say exactly, Zaji? Oh, she said, Zaji, I have urgent matters to discuss with our friend. Go find them, dear, and tell them to come talk to me at Mandrake Manor. That's exactly how she said it. Ask Oscar if she heard it too. Okay, I'll meet Lady Arabelle at Mandrake Manor. Come to think of it, this must be about the peace talks. Queen Irene and the other leaders are quite annoyed that the talks haven't started yet. Hurry, friend, go to Mandrake Manor and tell Lady Arabelle that Zaji sent you, just like she asked. The peace talks haven't begun yet? No, and Queen Irene grows more annoyed with every rise and fall of the sun. Inactivity pains her. Lord Baccaro keeps delaying, and Lady Arabelle isn't sure what to do. But these are details that Zaji isn't aware of. You should talk to her. Ah, okay. I, uh, I get what you're saying, Zaji. I get it. What is this? Work in Gonfalon Bay. Haven't I already done this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> when I sail Sentinel, I have no idea. All right, let's go to Mandrake Manor. Like we've done many, many times in the past. We'll meet up with Lady yeah. Arabelle, see what she's going to say. Oh, am I going the wrong way? Apparently. It's been so long since I did a story quest here that I've forgotten what I'm supposed to do. Forgotten where the place, how to get there. Not where it is, but how to get there. She's out back. Ah, Jacorn? good to see you, my dear. Zaji found you, I take it. Come, we have much to discuss. Jacorn, what's going on here? Don't say I didn't warn you. Save the day once and everyone expects you to do it again. But save the day twice? You'll never know a moment's peace. Don't worry, I won't get in your way. I'm officially out of the hero business. For real this time. All right. I'm glad Zaji found you. Sometimes he actually manages to surprise me. You've already done so much. I hesitate to ask, but Lord Baccaro is reluctant to move forward with the peace talks while the Ascendant Order remains a threat. You think the Ascendant Order still poses a threat to the peace talks? The Ascendant Lord and his minions are still out there somewhere. Lord Baccaro is hesitant to proceed when an attack could occur at any moment. But I can't keep the Alliance leaders here much longer. Their patience with the situation grows thin. Would the Alliance leaders really abandon the peace talks now? 
They are a proud and fickle lot, but they have one thing in common, dear. They respect you. Go to the city palace and talk to them. Ask them to remain patient. Then speak to Lord Bacaro. See if you can convince him to let me get things started. Okay, I'll talk to the Alliance leaders and Lord Bacaro. Find the Alliance leaders at Gondolin Palace and convince them to wait just a little longer. After that, look for Lord Bacaro at the city's western docks. He's been there for days, overseeing the Society of the Steadfast Relief Efforts for Galen. Why are the Alliance leaders at Gonfalon Palace? I had to put them somewhere, dear. And Mandrake Manor isn't large enough to keep them comfortable and adequately separated. There's yeah. more than enough room in the palace to make sure they don't engage in any unchaperoned squabbling. Can't you let them return to their own kingdoms until we deal with the Ascended Order? That would never work. It took untold hours of planning and preparation to get them here in the first place, and then we nearly lost them on multiple occasions. No, this is our one chance for peace. We won't get another if they leave. Tell me about the relief efforts. According to the reports I received, you were there, my dear. You saw firsthand the destruction at Bastyr, the rumblings from Iphelon. Yeah. The Society of the Steadfast is sending aid to the islands as quickly as their ships can make the journey. Remind me, who's Lord Bacaro again? Lord Bacaro Valores, philanthropist and founder of the Society of the Steadfast. He and his organization have gone to great lengths to assist those impacted by the Three Banners War and other catastrophes, such as what's happening on Galen. And what does Lord Bacaro have to do with the peace talks? He's sponsoring them, dear, and he's paying our salaries, so keep that in mind when you go to talk with him. Get Lord Bacaro to agree to let me begin the peace talks, and then we can get High King Emmerich and the others to the table. Okay, now what did I get here? What is this? Okay, Guildmate completed a trial or something. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, he's gonna say the same thing. Gotcha. Alright, let's go... Talk to the Alliance leaders, and then talk to Lord Bacaro. Can I assume the Alliance leaders are over here somewhere? Um, yeah, they're in the... The castle, right? Didn't she say they were in the castle? Or the palace? Yeah. What's it called? Castle? Palace? Yeah. This huge, magnificent building right here. Gonfalon Palace. Prince Ernstgar? They've separated us. Have us under constant guard. I feel like a prisoner. And all because Lord Bicaro wants to maintain the sanctity of his peace talks. But I want to hear your news. Where have you been, my friend? To Galen and Ephelon. I stopped a plot involving the Firesong Druids and Sea Elves. Druids and Sea Elves? <laughs> Impressive as always. And have you learned anything more about the Ascendant Order and its mysterious Lord? Not yet, but Lady Arabelle is running down some new leads. We'll get the peace talks going soon. Yes, yes. For a Breton noble, Lady Arabelle seems quite competent. I know my father trusts her, despite her ties to Emmerich and the Covenant. We'll get to it. I can't wait to get out of this room so we can finally start talking. Finally start talking. Okay, sorry, I, I clicked uh, before he was done talking. Um, so where is... Queen Irene and King, um, the King. Let's see. Queen Irene. Do you bring news, my friend? Is Lord Bacaro ready to summon us so we can finally engage in the discussions of peace? Not yet. The Ascendant Order is still out there, but Lady Arabelle is running down new leads. Well, that's something, at least. I swear, though, if something doesn't change soon, I'm going to call for Captain Zaji and return to my own domain. I've been absent long enough as it is. You'd abandon the peace talks? Locked away for my safety is not what I had imagined when I agreed to attend this conference. I'll abide a little longer, 
that my royal patience is growing quite thin. Go, my friend. End the threat so we can get to the business that brought us here. All right, now, where is the king? Wait, this isn't stealing? Okay. Ah, he's in the banquet hall. Hi, King Emmerich. I used to enjoy my visits to the archipelago. It was a welcome change from the hustle and bustle of my court. But because of the Ascendant Order, I'm practically a prisoner in here. But tell me, what have you been up to? I went to Galen and Ephelon. I stopped a plot involving the Firesong Druids and Sea Elves. More Druidic traitors? I really must have a talk with their elders. And they were working with sea elves. They That's were. That's not an alliance I would have predicted. But what Me about either. the Ascendant Order? Any sign of them or their lord? Lady Arabelle is running down some new leads while we work to get the peace talks underway. Aha, uh -huh. Arabelle. She's never failed me yet. Give her whatever help she requires. I haven't spoken to Irene or Ernskar since the celebration. I think I actually miss them. The guards are overly protective of us and we've had practically no contact. You haven't spoken to the other leaders? No. Lord Bakaro wants the peace talks to occur under controlled conditions. He's worried that if left to our own devices, we'd start another war. And I can't say he's wrong. We're all a bit hot-headed and stubborn, if you hadn't noticed. Uh, you said it, not me. Alright, let's go talk to Lord Bakaro. See if we can figure out what to do next. Um, down this way, I guess. At the docks, it says. Well, that worked. I thought I was going to get stuck in the water, but... Let's get these supplies on board. The people of Galen need our assistance. Turned I'll take care of things here on High Isle in your absence, Lord Bakaro. May the Society's efforts on Galen bring the people of Vestir some relief. Who are you? Captain Marguerite? You're Lady Arabelle's assistant, aren't you? Well, if I you're am? here to talk to Lord Bakaro, you need to hurry. He plans to set sail for Galen with this last shipment of relief supplies. He's determined to lead the Society's efforts to help the island. Tell me about these efforts on Galen. The Society of the Steadfast's primary charter involves providing relief to those unfortunate enough to be caught up in war or disaster. Galen was recently rocked by both brutal assaults and volcanic activity. We're sending supplies and healers. You seem to know me, but I don't believe we've met. Not officially, no. But Lord Bacaro tells me everything. I handle the day-to-day -day workings of the Society of the Steadfast and command our small contingent of knights. When Lord Bacaro travels, I oversee operations at Steadfast Manor. Haha! <laughs> the defender of the three thrones and the savior of the sisters! I'm afraid you've caught me at a bad time. The Society of the Steadfast is needed in Vastir, and my ship is ready to depart. I decided to oversee the relief efforts personally. Lady Arabelle sent me. She'd like to get the peace talks underway. <laughs> Lady Arabelle uses every weapon in her arsenal. I suppose that's why I hired her. But the timing isn't right, my friend. There's too much at stake to risk another setback. Once the most recent threats have been eliminated, then we may begin. What recent threats? I was about to send word to Lady Arabelle. My scouts reported new Ascendant Order activity at the Dufort shipyards. 
I sent a messenger there to confirm these reports, but they have yet to return. I fear Duchess Alea has fooled us all. Duchess Alea? What do you mean? After you discovered that her brother was the Ascendant Magus and killed him, Duchess Alea claimed no involvement. She was stoic in her grief and assured me her brother acted without her permission or foreknowledge. Hmm. Since you're here... What are you thinking, Lord Bakaro? If you're still working with Arabelle, then you can look into the validity of this threat. Discover what became of my messenger at the DeFort shipyards. That would ease my mind while I aid Vastir and get us closer to starting the peace talks. Alright, so we need to go to the DeFort shipyards. Oh, I forgot to tell you, um, I'm now using Ember as my companion. I've switched back to her. I'm gonna try to level, level her up some. She's just level 8, so I've kind of neglected her leveling. I'm gonna go back to using her. Uh, I used Isabelle Valois in the other series, if you haven't seen the High Isle or um, Fire Song series, I used Isabelle Valois for most of them. Just a short ride, we'll be at the DuFort shipyards. I'm not sure if I want to turn... I'm going to go to this road at the end here. Yeah, this place can be dangerous. Deal with the messenger. Night Captain, the Society of the Steadfast sent a messenger named Duncan Guinness to the DeFord shipyards. They have orders to confirm our takeover of the shipyards and report on our activity there to Lord Bakaro Valoris. When the messenger arrives, deal with them. Confirmation of our presence must remain secret for as long as possible. The DeFord shipyards are vital to our efforts to rebuild our forces. Maintain our control through whatever means you deem necessary, the Ascendant Lord. Yeah, so the Ascendant Lord is still at large. We killed the Ascendant Magus at the end of the High Isle walkthrough, but the Ascendant Lord got away. Here's a note on the ground, looks like. Messenger's report. The Dockmaster assures me that these hooded knights are just mercenaries hired by House Dufort to guard the shipyards, but I don't trust him. In fact, I don't see a single laborer here bearing the emblem of House Dufort. I fear the reports Lord Bakaro received about rogue knights commandeering the shipyards prove true. I intend to bring this information to Lord Bakaro's attention at once, though the Dockmaster insisted I tour the yard before departing. A refusal could arouse suspicion, so returning to Steadfast Manor will have to wait just a little longer. I have a bad feeling. Uh, I'm gonna find the scout's dead body at some point. But I'm gonna leave, go back to Mandrake Manor and make my report.
Uh, I keep doing that. I keep going the wrong way. Five o'clock. Terrible news. Lady Arabel has succumbed to some unknown malady. She's upstairs in bed waiting for you. Uh -oh. When Sachi and Kaska returned, we found Lady Arabel unconscious on the floor. We got her to bed and sent for Druid Ravana. She can help her, yes? Druids have healing magic, or so Zachi has heard. Upstairs, Five Claw. You must go to Lady Arabel. I've never seen Lady Arabel so weak. She's in a bad state. But she's a tough old bird. I know she'll pull through. You should head upstairs and talk to her. Just seeing you will do her a world of good. All right, I'm going. Um, there's the stairway. I'm not sure if I if I've even been upstairs before. I think I can hear her moaning. Investigator Vale, Retinue of Shambles, Part Three. Okay, I'm not gonna read this, but here's page one and two. Three and four, five and six, if you want to read the book. You can pause it at each page turn. There's another one, Retinue of Shambles Part 2. Here's pages one and two, three and four, five and six, seven. Enigma of the Runestones. How am I finding all these books? I guess I must have only found them on the other characters. So here's pages one, two, and three. Welcome back, dear. And wipe that expression off your face. I'm not dead yet. Lady Arabelle, you need to rest. I came as quickly as I could when I received Zaji's message. I've done what I can, but you should talk to Lady Arabelle. She won't rest until she explains what happened. I want to hear all about your conversations with the Alliance leaders and Lord Bukhara, dear. But I think we need to deal with this situation I find myself in first, if that's all right with you. What's wrong with you, Lady Arabelle? Poison, I should think. It has all the usual signs. Right after you left, I received a package, my favorite wine, and a note of congratulations for saving the Alliance leaders. I should have known better than to pour a glass, but here we are. Any idea who sent you the wine? The note was suspiciously vague about that. If I hadn't been tired of thinking about twelve dozen other things, that should have set off a warning bell. Instead, no matter. Tell me, is Lord Bukhara ready to start the peace talks? Not yet. He sent me to the DeFort shipyards. The Ascendant Order is still using them. How can that be? Duchess Alea assured me she had retaken control of her shipyards. We'll deal with that later. Right now, I need you to figure out where that package came from. Determine who wants me out of the way. Nothing has been touched. I'll figure out who sent the poison, Lady Arabelle. Everything is still exactly where I left it. Examine the note and bottle carefully. See if you can trace them back to their origin. And talk to Ravana. She's been working to identify the poison and figure out an antidote. My life is in your hands. Do you often receive gifts from unidentified admirers? More often than you might expect, actually. Comes with the territory. I am rather famous, dear. Still, I should have been more careful. I can't afford to make a mistake like that again. People who send expensive gifts usually want to take credit. Any idea who might have sent the poisoned wine to you? Just guesses. I suspected the Ascendant Lord, but your news about the Dufort shipyards concerns me. Did we misjudge Duchess Alea? Was she working with her brother? Is she part of the Ascendant Order? We need evidence before we can make an accusation. Okay. Uh, what is this? Congratulations on another success. To Lady Arabelle Duvois, Mandrake Manor, Gonfalon Bay. 
Once again, you have outdone yourself, my lady. I am quite certain that by your actions, the leaders of the Three Alliance were spared a grueling and painful death. And peace remains not only a hope, but a real possibility. Please enjoy this rare vintage with my compliments, and keep up the good work from a devoted and grateful admirer. Aside from the anonymous signature, it's the same as other notes I've received. The Book of Circles soon does maxims. There's only two pages to that one. Uh. Investigator Vale and Vardenfell. Pages one and two, three and four, five and six. Dufort Singular Amber. The bottle bears the House Dufort seal and the words Singular Amber 2E571. The wine smells faintly of garlic. Any distinctive markings on the bottle, dear? Lady Arabelle is fortunate that Zaji sent for me and not one of the Society of the Steadfast's menders. They wouldn't have been able to counteract the poison. What do you mean? This poison smells slightly of garlic and has all the earmarks of a druidic compound, but its effects remind me of much older recipes. No healer without druidic training would have even recognized some of the ingredients that make up the poison. So you were able to nullify the poison? No. But I have given Lady Arabelle a tincture that will keep her stable and slow down the poison's most deadly effects. I need to return to my workshop, analyze the components, and consult my ancient herbal apothecary. I'm sure I've seen this before. What should I do? Just what Lady Arabelle asked. Discover where the poisoned wine came from and who sent it. I'll leave more of my tincture with Zaji and give him exact instructions. Then I need to go do research of my own. Meet me at my workshop as soon as you can. All right. Oh, I really hate being so impotent. Ravana tells me her tincture defers the worst effects of the poison, but I still feel weak, like my blood is on fire. <sighs> Enough of my problems. Tell me what you saw when you examined the note and the bottle. The note doesn't reveal much, but the bottle bears the House Dufort's seal. It's a singular amber. Let me guess. The 571 vintage. I'd be hard-pressed to refuse such an exquisite wine. Ashcroft's fine goods and imports. Only place on the island that might have any bottles available, other than the Duchess's private stores. Go talk to them, dear. I'll go see what I can learn at Ashcroft's Fine Goods and Imports. Ask for Fillion Ashcroft, the proprietor. He knows me well and keeps a spot in Bayside Artisans here in town. And while Ravana works on an antidote, I'll send Zaji to make sure the Alliance leaders don't accept any mysterious gifts. You know, really, it, it should be pretty obvious if you're involved in all this intrigue and politics and... Um... War... You know, you shouldn't take wine from a... I mean, hell, you shouldn't drink wine from a secret admirer no matter what. Even if you're not involved in all this stuff. I don't want to go to the courtyard. I want to go back outside. All right, let's go to this store. Uh, it's right here. Go talk to talk to the store yes, owner. Are we going to race? See if he knows who might have bought this wine. Looks like he's inside of Bayside Artisans, the, the crafting area. Yeah, he's inside here. Welcome to Ashcroft's Fine Goods and Imports. I am Fillion Ashcroft, proprietor and expert on all things luxurious and exquisite. What might I help you with today? 
The bottle of wine, do you recognize it? Hmm, let me see. Yes, a fine vintage. Very fine indeed. I may have sold a bottle or two recently, but I don't make a habit of discussing my client's orders. What is this about, if I may be so bold? Lady Arabelle received this bottle as a gift, but the wine inside was poisoned. What? I had no idea! Lady Arabelle is one of my best customers! I swear on my reputation, that wine left this shop unaltered. In fact, I only made one sale that included this particular vintage recently. It was a rather large order, in fact. Who placed the order? Oh, this is awkward. Castle Navir Seneschal placed the order, claimed he needed to replenish the cellars for Duchess Alea, and demanded I sell back the wine I had purchased from them. That exact vintage, to be precise. You'll want to talk to them. Okay, so... Demanded I sell back the wine I had purchased from them. So he bought the wine for them and they told him they needed it back? Okay. I mean, I don't know why even... Well, I guess it was good I got this evidence against Duchess Alea, but... Really, I should have talked to her a long time ago. Where is Duchess Alea? In Castle Navir, of course. Okay. You know where uh, Duchess Alea is? Hello. If you're looking for the Knight Commander, the office is just down the hall. Okay, sorry to bother you. You're in a lot of trouble, Duchess. Lady Arabelle's assistant? How good to see you again. But I don't remember your name on my schedule today. Did we have an appointment? I have some difficult questions to ask you, Duchess. Do tell. Well, go ahead. After everything you've done for the people of the archipelago, you've earned the right to be direct with me. Lady Arabelle was poisoned. The wine was part of a large order your Seneschal placed recently. Lady Arabelle poisoned? Is she all right? But what was that about wine? I haven't placed any orders recently. Not while the castle is still in disrepair. And I haven't appointed a new Seneschal since that trouble with Steward Hersian. What about the Ascendant Order? They control the Dufort shipyards. Again? I thought my knights ran them off after that terrible business with my brother. Thank you for bringing me the news. I'll send a battalion to deal with them right away. I know how this must look, but I am not in league with those malcontents. Lord Beccaro seemed to think otherwise. Did he? Well, I want the Ascendant Lord brought to justice, the same as you. That wine that poisoned Lady Arabelle, was it a Dufort Singular Amber, Vintage 571? It was. I received a similar gift this morning. It's in the Knight Commander's private chamber. I should examine the gift you received. The Knight Commander insisted that the anonymous gift be tested before I consumed so much as a drop. It's in her private chamber, waiting for one of my handmaidens to come by and taste it. Feel free to perform your own investigation. Yeah, you don't want your handmaidens tasting this. Tell me more about this gift you received, Duchess. There's not much to say. It arrived without fanfare, with an anonymous note. The vintage was my father's favorite. He was still new to his role as Duke when the vineyard turned out those precious bottles. Why would someone send you a gift of your own wine? We depleted our own stores of that vintage a long time ago. But everyone at court knows I was fond of that wine. We opened a bottle once a year to celebrate my father and the elevation of House Dufort. I was quite sad when we uncorked the last one. Okay, let's take a look at it.
for your next celebration. To Duchess Aaliyah de Fort, Castle Navire, as the anniversary of the ascension of House de Fort approaches, I thought you might like a bottle of your family's favorite wine. I know how hard these are to come by. May you raise a glass to your house and to your father's memory. And long may House de Fort reign over the archipelago. From a devoted and grateful admirer. Uh, same one. Okay, so she's not guilty. Unless she's really good at... Um, unless she planned all this out to make it look like... She wasn't the one that did it. Do I have Breton style? No. Okay. What do you think? Did someone send me the same gift that poisoned poor Lady Arabelle? The note and the wine are the same. Do you have any idea where the gift came from? As we discussed, and you no doubt noticed, the letter was unsigned. My knight commander insisted on having someone else taste the wine before she would allow any to pass my lips. I'm just glad you arrived before that happened. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, but we're no closer to figuring out who sent the poisoned wine. Hold on. Earlier you mentioned that the shopkeep claimed that my seneschal placed an order for a large amount of wine. While we did no such thing, one of my sentries informed me that a courier had arrived with an unscheduled delivery. Right, I noticed them talking when I arrived at the castle. The sentry ordered them to wait. Then your answer may be right outside. I told the sentry to have them wait by the jousting tents until I was ready to deal with the mix-up. Talk to the courier, and find out who hired them to deliver the incriminating bottles of wine to my castle. I'll go talk to the courier. Someone has gone to a lot of trouble to try and remove both myself and Lady Arabelle from the table, while also focusing the blame for this all on me. Speak to the courier, and get some answers. Or I will. Why would someone try to kill you, and also try to make it look like you killed Lady Arabelle? To sow confusion and weaken House Dufort, of course. And to further delay the peace talks. Perhaps even scuttle them completely. I have political rivals, but none who would stoop to murder. If I had to guess, this is the work of the Ascendant Order. You think the Ascendant Order sent the poison wine? I fear we'll find the Ascendant Lord's hand on the tiller of most of the recent events that have plagued the archipelago. Call it a feeling deep in my bones. In the meantime, talk to this courier and see what they reveal about whoever hired them. All right. Are you from the castle? Can I finally make my delivery and be done with this damn job? Can you tell me who hired you to make this delivery? Was it Ashcroft's fine goods and imports? Ashcroft's? Mm, no. Some hooded figures hired me to take some crates to an isolated spot up north. That's where I met another hooded figure. He helped unload my wagon, gave me the crates for Castle Navir, and told me to make the delivery. Tell me about these hooded figures. Did they give you any names? Mm. No names, just enough gold to make me not want to ask any questions. You did hear me say we were in an isolated location, right? But if it helps, they were definitely wearing armor under their hooded cloaks. Night armor. Can you tell me where this isolated location was exactly? Right below the cliffs of Garrick's Rest. Look, I know how all this sounds, but I needed this job. Courier work has been hard to come by since the trouble here and on Galen. All I know is I delivered one set of crates and received another for Navir. Five Claw! Zaji has found you! What's up, Zaji? Lady Arabelle wasn't improving, so Zaji went to find Druid Revana. Do not worry, Five Claw. Casca stands guard at Mandrake Manor. Instead of giving this one more medicine, Rivana sent me to find you. Did Druid Rivana tell you what she wanted? Druid Rivana wants you to come to her workshop right away. Do you know where it is? Just west of Gonfalin Bay and north of Druid's Gate. When you see her, remind her that Lady Arabelle still needs the antidote. 
Uh, I'll go talk to Druid Ravana. Oh, that makes Zachi feel much better. It was good to get out of the manor and do something. All this waiting makes Zachi's ears itch. This one will head back to the manor and make sure Lady Arabelle is taking her tincture. Okay. Uh, I wanted to go to the secluded spot. Which is... Um... Yeah, I... Okay. I will go to the secluded spot later, I guess. Hmm. I was gonna go to the city, but maybe I should take this way shrine. this place. Ah, there you are. I hope you've had more success than I, my friend. Uh, can I have some of your food? And your drink? I thought that I'd be able to replicate an antidote using some of the old recipes in my ancient herbal apothecary, but nothing I've concocted thus far has worked. This poison is proving very resistant to our tried-and-true elixirs. Were you mistaken about the ingredients used to make the poison? That's just it. I identified the various plants, root, stem, and leaf. But they aren't those plants. Not exactly. I don't understand. Neither did I. At least not at first. But after careful study, I can see that someone with extensive agricultural knowledge created new and more potent versions of the rare plants used to prepare the poison. Oh, did you discover who sent the wine? The wine came from Ashcroft's shop, but someone at Garrick's Rest bought it and added the poison. Garrick's Rest? Strange magic saturates the wildlife around those ruins. Hmm. If that's the source of the poison, I'll need samples to craft an antidote. Meet me there. I fear we could be dealing with another rogue druid, and a powerful one at that. Okay, I'll meet you at Garrick's Rest. We'll need to proceed carefully once we get to Garrick's Rest. If we are dealing with a powerful druid, we won't be able to avoid them for long. Why do you think a druid is behind this? The courier described a knight under a hooded cloak. Hmm. That sounds like the Ascendant Order. But only a skilled druid could alter plants and create this vile poison. We know they worked with the Elder Tide Circle before. Maybe they still have some druid allies assisting them. How long can Lady Arabelle hold on without an antidote? The tincture I provided will slow the poison's spread, but it won't hold off the inevitable forever. She should be all right for a while longer, but I do recommend we hurry. Once I have a sample of the plants, I know I can craft an antidote. Okay. Now I can go to Garrick's Rest. Oh, good. I didn't want to walk. Garrick's Rest is up there. Um. Okay. That still seems too far away. Okay. Long ride to get there. Let's see if I can go this way. Looks faster. Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember this. This is where we got the shield from. Um... i go this way. Yeah, this is where we had to pass the trials and we got the shield that was a piece of furniture that I hung in my house. Uh, wait, this isn't right. <laughs> Apparently that mage went... <laughs> he opened a portal to the wrong place. <laughs> I have never seen that before. I wonder, was that in the chapter uh, originally and I just missed it? Or did they add it later? <sighs> Friends, look. It appears something heavy was dragged up and down this hill recently. A door. That's definitely where whatever made the marks came from. What is the deal with Druid Ravana? Her voice sounds weird now. Did they get somebody else to play her voice for this last quest or something? I can't tell if whatever was dragged here came out of those doors and went inside them. Hmm, perhaps both? Proceed with caution. But I definitely want to look around in there. The voice sounds weird to me. Oh, so this is the Garrick's Rest Dungeon. Be careful. I don't think we're alone down here. A place we've never seen before. My magic yeah. will destroy you! Yeah, I knew somebody was going to attack. Alright, that appears to be all of them for now. The Ascendant Order has been hiding here for a while. Lord Bakara was right to be concerned. I was too busy fighting to notice the pile of paper. Welcome, Initiates! Welcome, Ascendant Initiates! There are many who believe we were defeated after the events at All Flags Island. But the flame of our vision is not so easily snuffed out. You have followed rumors and whispers to find us. Soon others will join you in a growing swell of opposition to the royal warmongers that rule our lands. An uprising is coming to the sisters. The events on Galen are only the beginning. Join your druid brothers and sisters in taking back what is rightfully ours. The dream of Kassarang will come to pass, and together we will reclaim the legacy of the Bretons. You have my word, the Ascendant Lord. The Ascendant Lord is recruiting disillusioned druids after the events on Galen. Insidious. Rebuilding his ranks with disillusioned druids. Ugh. Oh. The Ascendant Lord will say anything to recruit his army. But to allude to a druidic prophecy, what exactly is the Ascendant Lord promising his followers? See, I'm not sure. Her voice kind of sounds the same right there, so I don't know. 
Maybe it's just my imagination. No enemies? Look, over on that table. Orders from the Lord. Druid Edreld, I understand your garden below Garrick's Rest is blooming. Perfect. When you receive the shipment of wine, here is how I want you to proceed. Add your newly developed poison to one of the bottles. I have arranged for it to be part of a gift basket for Lady Arabelle. Her suspicions grow and will likely discover our agents in steadfast manner if we do not take action. I am sure she won't be able to resist taking a taste of this rare vintage. She does so love her wine. Do the same for the gift we will send to Duchess Alea. Then crate up the rest of the bottles. A courier will meet you outside. Take the delivery from them, then give them the crates of wine. The courier has orders to deliver them to Castle Navir. If all goes as planned, both Arabelle and Alea will be dead, and blame will fall squarely on malcontents in House Dufort. As for the relic, I give it to you for safekeeping while I am away. If Steadfast Manor becomes compromised in my absence, use it to enter the tunnels below the cellar. Destroy any documents you find there. We must not reveal our true identity until the time is right. The Ascendant Lord. All right, so they've infiltrated Steadfast Manor. It's not, uh, it's not House Dufort. It's the opposite side. The Ascendant Lord gave clear orders to this druid alchemist. We need to find that garden. It's clear from that letter that the Ascendant Lord ordered the attempts on Lady Arabelle and Duchess Elea's lives. I suspect this garden he mentions is the source of the poison. We need to find it so I can devise an antidote. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to hunt them down, but she's right. We need to make sure we can cure Lady Arabelle first. Going the wrong way. I think. I need to keep going this way. Oh, now there's enemies everywhere. the next quest objective. You were amazing! Thanks, Ember. You were too. Twice accidentally. Yeah, I just. Oh, here we go. Those must be the crates the courier delivered. Check the labels. Shipping label. Shorebird Express Agency from Daggerfall. Delivered to Steadfast Manor. Contents six crates from Stag and Stallion Armorers. Attention, Captain Marguerite, Society of the Steadfast. Those were intended for Steadfast Manor. Why deliver them here? See what's inside the open one. Society of the Steadfast Armor. With that, the Ascendant Order could impersonate Stead... Hmm, is that a key over there? Okay. So they're impersonating Steadfast... Uh, manor people? Garden key. A key with the word garden carved into its bow. We didn't expect the Ascendant Order to wither away, but I had no idea its roots ran so deep. 
and it seems they have crept into our most trusted circles. Someone at Steadfast Manor diverted this armor shipment here. Let's review what we uncovered. We found recruitment handbills directed at disillusioned druids. We know that the Ascendant Lord allied with factions of the Elder Tide and Firesong circles. But to actively promote a sacred druidic prophecy to gain followers to his cause... What about those crates we found? The shipping label said they were destined for Steadfast Manor and contained suits of armor. Armor that the Ascendant Order can use to impersonate Steadfast Knights. I know Captain Marguerite by reputation. We must talk to her about the shipments. But first, I still need to gather samples of the plants used to make the poison. The letter to the Druid Alchemist detailed the plan to poison Lady Arabelle and mentioned a garden. And I assume the key we found will grant us access to this alchemical garden. Then I can craft an antidote for Lady Arabelle. She and Lord Bakara will know how to best handle this situation once she recovers from the poison. It's good that, uh, Zoss understands how confusing it could be when you're fighting a bunch of enemies. Sometimes you forget elements of the story, so... It's good that they do those reviews every once in a while to make sure you haven't forgotten anything or missed anything while you were running around. That door. See if the key we found will unlock it. Alright, we made it. A druid alchemist's workshop. Let's look around. Druid Edreld. Okay, this is the uh it's the guy that made the poison. We deal with pests in my garden. Yeah, it took him out quickly. Search. Eight string display. Already got it. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Sister's cave bloom, but I've never seen one with quite that color before. I'll take a sample. Okay, druid ritual box. Shard of the green. This small bright gem found in a druid ritual box features engraved etchings of druid iconography. With these, I should be able to craft an antidote. What did you find over there? Uh, I'm grabbing drinks. Hopefully they're not poisoned. I gathered enough of the plant to craft an antidote for Lady Arabelle. She will soon be on her way to a full recovery. Did you find anything interesting in the druid ritual box? I found this green crystal in the box. That's a shard of the green. I've never seen an intact one before. Long ago, druids used them to protect sacred locations. The practice withered like leaves on a dying vine, mostly because they were so hard to come by. Hang on to that for now. What now, Druid Ravana? Now? Now we do exactly what Lady Arabelle would want us to. We follow the clues. Head to Steadfast Manor. We need to talk to Captain Marguerite. I'll meet you there after I start the preparations for the antidote. Alright, let's go to Steadfast Manor. Continue our wild goose chase. Alright, that person didn't need help. Yeah. Oh, back to this long trip back to the Way Shrine. I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and just teleport. 
It's only 146 gold. Alright, much better. This was a really fun area of the zone to me when I first played through this. There's like three quests we did at the same time. That will be all, Sentry. But what's this? A druid and Lady Arabelle's assistant. Forgive the intrusion, Captain. My friend will explain. What brings a druid and Lady Arabelle's most trusted assistant to Steadfast Manor? I'm afraid Lord Bacaro is still on Galen leading the relief efforts there. Is there something I can help you with? I found crates in this shipping label addressed to you in an Ascendant Order stronghold. Interesting. I was informed that those crates were lost at sea, but I suspected there was more going on than a simple accident. Add to that the minor thefts and intruders my knights keep running off, it seems the Ascendant Order has targeted us. I also found this shard stone. Do you recognize it? You say you found this with the Ascendant Order? That's one of Lord Beccaro's most prized possessions. He usually keeps it down in the cellars with his collection of trinkets from his adventuring days. Those thieves were bolder than I thought. So you're claiming that the Society of the Steadfast has nothing to do with the Ascended Order? Claiming? The Society provides aid to those in need. But it's evident that the Ascended Order stole from us. You're Lady Arabelle's investigator. Would you check the cellars and help me determine how those thieves got past our security? I'll see if I notice anything out of the ordinary in the cellars. Take this key. It will open the door to the cellars. Just follow the path to the north, toward the dock. If the Ascendant Order is stealing from the Society of the Steadfast, we need to know how and why. Tell me about these efforts on Galen. The Society of the Steadfast's primary charter involves providing relief. Okay, then we've already asked her about that. All right. Uh, I'm kind of worried this is a trap. She's like, hey, go down into the the dank, dark cellar, and check to see if they stole anything. Like, yeah, that doesn't seem very smart. But, the quest objective says I have to go there, so what am I gonna do? Steadfast Manor Cellars. The cellars beneath Steadfast Manor? any of it. Hmm. That empty sconce. See the druid symbols carved into it? Check if the shard fits into the socket. Hang on, I gotta rest for a minute. Just kidding. Druidic sconce. Just as I suspected, a hidden door. Let's see what other secrets this manor is hiding. Is there anything else in here? No? Okay. Oh. We've got a whole a underground tunnel. deeper beneath the manor. Let's see what Lord Bakara was hiding down here. A druid circle. And an ancient one by the looks of it. I want to get a closer look. This place feels sacred. Ancient. Did Lord Bacaro know it was down here? And why keep it a secret? Hmm. Instead of answers, suddenly we have more questions. Do you know where we are, Rivana? Somewhere beneath Steadfast Manor. But if you're asking what purpose it serves, that's an ancient druid circle. It's a place of power and meditation from long ago. As far as I know, the Stone Lore Circle isn't aware this location even exists. Why would Lord Bacaro keep a place like this a secret? I'm not sure. But stones as old as these, they hold memories, emotions from ages past. Some believe they can tap into that power, use it for their own purposes, there may be a perfectly benign reason to keep such a place secret. You don't sound convinced. More often than not, places such as this are forgotten for a reason. Let's see what else we can learn, and depart this ancient hall as soon as we can. Uh, 
I got some items that sold. Alright, um, can I get down there without dying? Should probably go this, this way? Yeah, this way. Oh. this over here nothing okay powerful spirits often guard locations such as this be careful look. Those carvings, definitely druidic. No, I don't want the torch bug. Ancient druid bloodlines. A genealogy and in-depth study commissioned by Lady Lorena Merchad, 2E541. After an exhaustive study, I can say with reasonable certainty that what your family has always suspected is almost positively true. The Merchad bloodline is indeed an ancient Breton bloodline dating back to the first appearance of the half-elf race in High Rock. Further, I have found clear evidence that the family, as it is known today, can trace their ancestry to druids who arrived in the Sisters' Archipelago with the original flotilla of the druids of Galen, the very same that departed High Rock in the First Era. Moreover, I feel confident in proclaiming that not only were the Merchads members of the Breton's original druidic ancestors, they were also clearly of royal blood, if you consider Druid King Kasserain to be equivalent to the aristocrats who govern High Rock in the current era, add to that what we know of the Valoris bloodline, and your son will inherit the best of both dynasties. Why else would House Merchad's heraldry be rendered as three cups spilling seeds and leaves if not for their Druid connection? What follows is a complicated genealogy, working backward from the time of the writing to the ancient days of the original Druids of Galen. Kasserain, the last druid king, is clearly shown in the family tree. The last entries from the time of the writing appear as follows. Lady Lorena Merchad, 2E521. Lord Lucan Valoris, 2E516. Mary, 2E538. Bacaro Valoris, 2E540. Okay, so looks like he's behind it. I suspected as much. Lord Bacaro's journal. Most re recent entries follow. At first, my rage at the failures on High Isle and Galen knew no bounds. I had set up everything for success. The Alliance leaders should have died at sea, but they were too stubborn, and my mages failed to kill them at all flags. If Lady Arabelle's champion hadn't killed the fool, I would have. Then they foiled my plans on Galen. House Bernard would have fallen, and I should have had a unified Druid Empire as my ally. Then I could have disbanded the Society of the Steadfast and replaced it with my Ascendant Order. Okay, so it looks like Valoris is the uh, Ascendant Lord. The Magus was too arrogant. Archdruid Orlaith too hesitant. I cannot allow others to fail me again. A new Druid King must rise to fulfill the prophecy and claim the sacred regalia. I always intended this moment. It's my blood heritage, after all. I am the last living descendant of Druid King Kasserain. Through my mother's bloodline, the legacy of the Bretons is mine to claim. I would have been content to let Orlaith rule for a time, 
while I consolidated power and formulated plans. But she was too weak. I see that I must step forward now. I must replace the corruption of the Ruby Throne with the purity of the Ivy Throne, as nature demands. When I claim the regalia and awaken the true power of Mount Firesong, I will bury the current order in fire and ash. And from those ashes, a new order will rise. Not of brittle rubies and stone, but of ivy and vines and roots that entwine and grow and spread. A new green age will dawn, nourished on the blood of the old. That armor, it looks just like the Ascendant Lord, doesn't it? Yeah, if Valoris is the Ascendant Lord. What's the connection here? Why does the Ascendant Order care about this place? And why does Lord Bacaro have a suit of the Ascendant Lord's armor? We come on, you know the reason. I found a journal written by Lord Bacaro. In it, he admits to being the Ascendant Lord. What? But Lord Bacaro is a man of peace. Why secretly control the very order of rogue knights that are actively trying to destroy everything he's worked for? I don't understand. Lord Bacaro wanted the Fire Song to unite the Druids. He wants the Circles to crown a new Druid King. So he helped foster the conflicts on Galen, then stepped in to help with the Steadfast after the dust settled, all while making alliances with the victors. But his plans failed. No new Druid King has been crowned. I also found this genealogy. It indicates that Lord Bacaro is a descendant of the last Druid King. Let me see that. Could this be accurate? Could Lord Bacaro be a direct descendant of Druid King Cassarain? Oh no. The carvings. I think I know why this place is important to Lord Bacaro. Examine the carvings. I'll explain what I see in them. I'll examine the carvings. What carvings? These carvings? Do you see? That's a stylized rendition of the Ivy Throne with the Druid King's regalia, the crown, staff, and gauntlet below it, carved above the throne. That's the heraldry of House Mershad. So Lord Bakaro, the Ascendant Lord, believes he's descended from the last Druid King through his mother's bloodline. He wants to become the Druid King and re-establish the Ivy Throne. That's why he went to Galen. He needs the Druid King's regalia. What's so important about the Druid King's regalia? In and of themselves, the regalia have no innate power. They're symbols, nothing more. However, the very fact that the sacred seeds have been regrown into the crown, staff, and gauntlet give credence to the prophecy of the Druid King. Remind me about this prophecy. The dream of Kassarain. The druids of the archipelago have debated its meaning since it was first uttered so long ago. With the regalia, Lord Bakaro can proclaim that the conditions of the prophecy have been met and that he's the new druid king. Would the druids really believe that? The prophecy holds deep significance for druids. We've been waiting for its promise to manifest for a long, long time. We have to hurry. I must administer the antidote to Lady Arabelle and warn her of this betrayal. Meet me back at Mandrake Manor. What about Captain Marguerite? Should we tell her what we uncovered? Captain Marguerite's reputation is impeccable, and she seemed unaware of all this. But the same could be said about Lord Bacaro. Until we determine how far this corruption has spread into the Society of the Steadfast, we keep this to ourselves. Okay, let's go save Lady Arabelle. That's the most important thing. Wait. Um... Yeah, it says return to Mandrake Manor.
Alright, this time I'm not going to mess up. I'm going to take the right road. What's this? The real Investigator Vale? Uh, pages 1 and 2. 3 and 4. 5 and 6. Read a lot of books in this video. If you uh, paused the video, uh, probably took you a long time to, to finish. <laughs> I think it's almost over. I have this? No. Lady Arabelle, drink this. It will neutralize the poison. We discovered the source of the poison and something more. Our friend will tell you. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Tell me what you uncovered, dear. Ugh. Oh. Couldn't you have added a touch of cinnamon or honey to this, Ravana? No matter. I assume I will be hale and hearty again before long. Now, enough with the suspense. Tell me what you've uncovered, dear. Lord Bakaro is the Ascendant Lord. He sent the poisoned wine to you and Duchess Alea. Uh, the poison must have affected my hearing. Did you say Lord Bakaro is the Ascendant Lord? How can that be? He sponsored the peace talks. He started the Society of the Steadfast, which has done nothing but good for the archipelago and the mainland. I found his journal. He admitted his crimes and claims to be a direct descendant of the Druid King. Looking at things from this perspective puts the delays and how the Ascendant Order has managed to stay one step ahead of us in a very different light. Yeah. But why go through all this trouble? What is Lord Bacaro actually planning? From what we found under Steadfast Manor, we think he wants to be the next Druid King. Ah, oh, I feel better already. Well done, dear Ravana. As for this business about the Druid King, I read the reports from Galen. Some Druids truly believe that the Ivy Throne would be an improvement over the Ruby One. But all this chaos and murder... What should we do, Lady Arabelle? We've been hesitant for too long. Unsure of where the next attack would come from, now we know. It's coming from inside our circle, from someone we considered an ally, a friend. Yeah. Take this, my friend. We'll deal with Bacaro soon enough. All right, we got Vastrian Noble Sabatons, uh, part of the Bastion of the Dreyfus set, and it's one of the few pieces I've not collected yet. I can't in good conscience start the peace talks while the Ascendant Lord, the man I knew was Lord Bacara, was out there doing who knows what. I'm afraid I need your help again, my friend. We must keep the Druid King's regalia out of Bacaro's hands. Okay, so that's the start of the next episode. I mean, it's the start of the next quest, so... Do I have an XP scroll? I didn't. Uh, what I want to look at is the piece of gear I just got. This one right here. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this episode. In the next episode, we will start the second quest of the Legacy of the Bretons epilogue. Thanks for watching. See you next time.